Hi guys, I'm Nip. Uh, the previous few weeks I've had my exams so I could not uh, shoot any videos or post any videos during that time but now that my exams are over I'm going to be uh, posting uh, more videos now. So today I'm starting a new drawing series which is uh, uh, based on seasons. So this is called a season series and uh, today's drawing is going to be a winter theme drawing and uh, as the seasons go by I'll be uh, making more drawings based on seasons like I'll make spring then summer then monsoon and then fall so let's get right into the video okay so guys I will start by showing out what I'm going to be using for this drawing so I'm, be, I'm going to be using this sketchbook which uh, from which I've shown out some drawings in my top 10 drawings which I've drawn uh, in my sketchbook video. If you haven't checked that out, you can click over here and you can check it out. And I'll be using a pencil for just some uh, some sketching of the drawing. I'm going to be using an eraser just in case I make a mistake. I'll be using a ruler, a few of my color pencils. And if needed, I'll use some sketch pens and some black pen or stuff. But I, uh, other than that, this is the, I think the only thing I'll be using for this. So I found this very nice picture on the net where there was this girl who was looking out of this uh, sort of window. So I'm going to take inspiration from that and draw a uh, similar sort of scene. So I'm going to be starting by just sketching, uh, uh, just drawing this line with the ruler over here, which will be the part of the window. I'll make this part a bit bigger. As you know, this is a winter theme drawing, so outside the window, I'll make it a, a snow capped sort of area rather than a green area. So, over here, I'll draw the girl now. First, I'll draw her hair. I'm going to show her from the back view. I made her hair really long over here. This is just a sort of rough sketch and make it better by, as I go further. Here I'll draw her hands. And then in this hand, her left hand is on this window over here and she's wearing gloves. And the right hand is holding a teddy bear. I'll draw the teddy bear later. She's wearing a coat sort of, hoping to go out of her house to play in the snow. Okay, so let's move on to the teddy bear right now. Okay, so this is the teddy bear. So I'll be making these slopes over here at different levels. And this is a sliding sort of door for the uh, it's a sliding window sort of from which you can directly go outside. So I'm making this thing over here. I hope you guys can see it and it's not too shaky. Over here I'll make a distant sort of house. Because she needs some neighbor near her house, of course. It's just a rough sketch of the house. Over here, I make some small trees. At first, I used to do the this. I used to draw trees like this, and now I'm going to try a different way. I'm just going to make these random sort of scribbles and try drawing. I'm thinking about making an art storage video where I'll show you how I store my art supplies and uh, if I'm making art on a paper, where do I store it. So if you want, guys want me to make one, uh, a video based on that, tell me down in the comments. I hope you guys can see this. I'll make a few more trees around here.
you guys can try this out too at your own house you can draw this Okay, now I'll make a moon over here or a sun. It depends on how I'm going to be making it. I'll mostly make this a sun. And I'll add a few more details in the end of the when I'm uh, going to like color this and all. I'm making trees in the distance too so they seem a bit smaller than these ones I'll try, I'll try making, I'm going to make this a bit more darker right now I'm going to start off with the girl Make sure that it's down over here. <coughs> so I can do this hand right. I'm gonna try again one more. I'm going to make her wear this sort of cap on her head with a nice fuzzy pom pom on the top. So. I'll, I'll start coloring so for this part over here I'm going to be using brown It's a bit hard to color down here as the rest of the pages are there. I'm gonna be really careful so that I don't get the color on the next page. <coughs> Sorry. While you're coloring over here, be really careful not to get any of the color onto the uh, this part over here because it's supposed to be white only, as it's supposed to be snow cap, uh, full of snow. And be careful when you're coloring around the girl and her teddy bear since we want them to be different color. I'm thinking about coloring the teddy bear a uh, sort of blue color or something. So I've done a teddy bear in the same color already. I'm not coloring these areas because uh, I might have to make the teddy bear to a bit more bigger, the girl, a bit, a girl's legs a bit more fatter, a bit more thinner, whatever. So I don't want to take any risks. So I'll color it after I finish coloring the girl and the teddy bear. 
now I think I'm going to use this yellow for the girl's coat so I think it looked pretty good on her coat If you guys are using this tutorial or this a way to make your own drawing, you can use whatever color you want. You don't have to compulsorily use yellow only. Whatever you think is fit for this girl. Or if you want to make, you can make a boy also. Whatever you think is fit for them, you can just color them. For the hair, I'm making it black. But you guys can make whatever color you want to. So here's my black color. I don't really have an idea for the gloves in my mind, but I'll get the idea. As you can see, I made the hair a bit more longer. Since because of the cap coming there, it had to, I had to shorten the hair a bit. So, alright. So, I think I'm gonna go with um, purple and pink mostly for the cap. So, I'll use pink first. Then I'll use purple on top of that. I make her gloves pink too. And the gloves are one I can use the brown around her gloves. I got a bit out over here. Okay, so now I'll use the pink for the other glove also. I don't know what color should I give her pants. So I'll just give it this purple shade. So it, I think it will go well. I was thinking of initially giving her a muffler around her neck, but. Uh, since her hair is covering her neck, I won't be able to show it properly, so I just dismissed the idea. And for the shoes, I'll just make them black. Alright, now I'll just darken the teddy bear over here. This hand is coming a bit too fat. Make the teddy a bit more long. looking a bit weird so I'll just erase it and restart with it make the hand a bit shorter since it was too long the last time make it very small cute little ears and I think it's going to be this part and it's gonna, it has to work here at the end Okay. 
I'll be using this light blue over here. I've decided to make it a morning scene only so I'll be using the blue again. I'll color this area in too. Alright, I'm done with coloring the brown part of this. So I'm gonna move on to the trees over here. So for the trees, I'll be using a dark and light green. So first of all, I'll just erase this and redraw over them. I like how good these trees are coming out. I'm doing them in different colors so they don't, they don't just merge in and it does not look like it's just one a tree, one big tree. I'm using a dark green and a light green also. You can hear a bird outside. I don't know if you guys can hear it too. I'm gonna use a brown again for the tree bark. So I'll do these tiny trees at the back also. For the light green trees, I'll add a bit of the darker green also. And for the dark green, I'll add a bit of light green. Okay, so I'm going to be coloring the sun now. I'll use this for making a circle. I'm going to fill it in with some orange and some yellow. I'll start off with a bit of yellow over here. Give it a bit of orange also. Okay, so I'll move on to the house over here. I'm going to use a scale to draw it mostly. So I'll give it a roof. The chimney, but it's kind of cold, so they like. So, I'm going to use my blue color again. But first, I'm going to just put the ones I don't need inside so it does not become a mess on the table. I'm not going to be using paint, I guess. And I'm not using this. Okay, so let's let, uh, let's move, uh, start with the sky. I'm going to make the slope a bit more prominent, so I don't color into it. I added this extra one over here by mistake. It does look good, but I'll just make this one whole slope so they're not overcrowding that place.
I'm gonna color in with the blue color. I'm done with most of the parts now. So I'll go on coloring. This area is very big. I'll be done in. There you go. I'm done with coloring the sky. So I'll move on to this house over here. So I think I'm gonna give the roof a sort of red color. My red. I'm gonna color it in and I'll be using the brown again so I'm gonna be coloring the dough brown in color and make this sort of brick thing over here for the chimney and as for this I'll just use pencil Okay. So for the house, I think yellow will be good. I'll use the yellow. I'll use. Okay. So there I go. I'm gonna be done with the house. Okay. Now I'm pretty much done. So I am going to be using a black pen. One second. Yeah. Black pen to just a sort of outline. Okay. this you have to be careful because you're using a black pen and you can't erase it so be really careful not to you know overdraw on the girl's hand and stuff that needs a bit of color over here give it a color I'm not going to be outlining the sun. Okay, so the tree, I'll just be using it for the bark. I'm thinking about making a snowman over here now. I didn't think of it before, but now that I've thought of it, I'll just make a tiny one. Give it arms with brown, let's show that it, those are branches. And I'll use black pen to show the two snowballs which make up the uh, snowman 
I'm using a black color for making the buttons and eyes. I can't show a smile, but I can. I'll try. Yeah, I can. And for the nose, I'm using brown, uh, orange. I mean, I'm sorry, I mean orange. Yeah. And this did not turn out the best, but I think it turned out way better than I had expected it to turn out like. And Thank you for watching my video, guys. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you all in the next video. Until the next video, bye.